Hi, guys. Welcome to our Real Talk with Real Food Recovery. This is our weekly wisdom segment with our Real Food Recovery leaders. We wanted to talk today about an event that happened in America this week. Oprah had a special this past Monday night on ABC, and it was geared towards weight loss in America. Specifically, the emphasis was on the weight loss drugs that are coming available on the market. And we each wanted to give some of our thoughts around that. One of the things that she mentioned off the bat that caught my attention was she talked about how the weight loss drugs uh, reduce the food noise in the brain, which that is a gift above all gifts to have that uh, in recovery. That's one of our goals too, to reduce the food obsession and of course, reduce the chatter and the noise that's continually spinning in, in the head and is so distracting. And she talked about how the drug did that, that she could eat a half of a bagel while still on the processed food and be done with that and move on. And my thought around that was, I'm wondering if you measured that volume, the noise in the brain on these drugs compared to the noise in the brain when we work with our members at Real Food Recovery. We have these branches of recovery that heavily focus on non-processed food, getting your sleep and movement and spirituality. That also reduces the level of noise in the brain around food. And I feel like those noise, the volume level can be attained through this lifestyle for most people. There are some exceptions as well comparatively to the drug. So I just wonder if it's a missed opportunity for healing for people. If you rely on the drug when you can try this non-processed food lifestyle with these branches of recovery that we promote, that that may provide more opportunity long-term for long-term solutions. So that was my thought. Jamie, you want to share your thought around this? Yeah, I think it was um, just, uh, again, um, I don't want to point point a finger at, at one person at Oprah Winfrey and, and her decisions. I think there were a lot of hands in this pot um, and a lot of money that it was changing hands. Uh, but it's very clear it was a, it was a it was an hour long weight loss drug commercial. It's really all this was. It was not there was nothing about it special about it. Um, there was it, it was an hour long hyper produced weight loss com drug commercial. Um, the whole idea that they are promoting how weight loss is now a disease and the di that diseases are treated with drugs. There was never a talk of food and, and processed foods. There was never a talk of, of how processed foods and lifestyle choices contribute to obesity and to the shame and blame around obesity um, and what they do to alter our brain chemistry, our body chemistry. None of that was talked about uh, in any real way. It was really just, hey, look, this person was obese. Now they're on a drug and they can still have their processed foods and walk away and look at all the freedom they have. Mm -hmm. And that, that to me, I've lived that life. I've lived that life of not on weight loss drugs, but where I lost weight and I was still in the prison of processed foods. And I wasn't taking anything that altered my brain chemistry so that I didn't have food chatter. Um, but finally, I got free from the food chatter once I got off the processed foods. Um, and I didn't have to worry about side effects or fallout uh, from, from a drug or from a surgery. So again, um, what, what they're realizing, what they're getting from these drugs can be, can be gotten through a, a totally uh, harmless approach, which is removing the processed foods, focusing on single ingredient foods, focusing on movement and body work and emotional regulation and healing that that's freedom. That's long-term freedom without any side effects. Heather, what are your thoughts here? I love this conversation because, um, you know, many people just don't know. So they feel that this is the only recourse that they have. So I love that we're talking about this, but to give a bit of the science about it, um, how these weight loss drugs work, in particular, the one that is so popular right now, um, they work by increasing a peptide called GLP-1. It activates the receptors. That's what it does. Um, the reason why this is short-sighted and you have to stay on it forever indefinitely, otherwise you're gonna put the weight back on, is because it's not getting to the root cause. And the root cause is the gut microbiome. So 
when we eat enough plants and variety and diversity, and the research is really clear, I mean, our goal should be around 30 a week, then we have our own factory, our own pharmacy and our gut. And we can produce and make GLP-1 and not only make it, but synthesize it and then get more secretion of it. This is why we feel the satiation and I don't have any cravings and the weight fell off of me. So we can do this so much easier by, you know, joining a recovery group and increasing plants and fiber. I know people that are on it, they're paying $700 a month with copay and $1,000 for those that don't. Imagine how much clean whole food you could be buying with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you could pay for the membership for real food recovery mm -hmm. and then get the connection you need. Um, I don't know if anybody has seen that video called Rat Park. Yes. But connection is the antidote, not just the opposite of addiction, it's the antidote to behavioral changes. So um, increasing plants and diversity and variety and having the connection, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars a year on something like this, something that is short-term and short-sighted. That's my two cents, guys. How about you, Shay? Yeah, this is a conversation that we just don't have enough time for right now. And <laughs> you know, I think if we had to take a step back we're looking at, you know, there's, we live in a, in a culture and a society which wants quick fixes, <laughs> wants quick fixes, wants to put plasters over issues. And just like Heather, you know, and I know you ladies would agree, we're not dealing with the root issues here. You know, all of those different things are symptoms. They are not the issue. They are just symptoms of a much deeper issue. We've got to look at things like our genes. We've got to look at things like inflammation. We've got to look at things like digestion. Those are roots which grow in a soil, you know, just looking at something like digestion, there's the microbial, you know, the biome, the mechanicals, the chemical side of stuff, inflammation, like what is our, you know, how are we living? What is our lifestyle? There's a whole holistic approach. And unfortunately, when we throw these kind of drugs and things, which end up, you know, largely being endocrine disruptors, it, it messes with our hormones and everything, people will be disappointed. And then, yes, some might end up letting go of some unwanted fat, but we know what happens. It all comes back the same or even more at the end of the day, because we're not dealing with the root holistic issues. And my heart breaks for people. I, I wake up daily and my heart just breaks. So anyway, let me not say anymore because I will go on forever. <laughs> I am passionate about seeing people whole from the root outwards, you know? So yeah, that's my two pages. I love it. And by the way, we are very sympathetic to people that struggle. We understand the need for it, that you would do anything to get out of this excruciating hell that yes. you're living in. And, and we just, our message is there is another option that's much less expensive and affordable and will last you forever. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. the skills, the skills we teach you will last you forever. I had to chuckle when Heather talked about the cost, which by the way, the special Oprah did not discuss the extreme cost of this. Not only could you buy all your foods, you could have an extra massage and get your nails done and buy a new sweater too. So <laughs> if yeah, you think and that's, the that thing. that's the thing too, Paige is, is really, we have all been there. We have all struggled. We know, right. we know intimately the struggle that all of you who are considering weight, these weight loss drug therapies are feeling. We have lived it. Yeah. In every aspect of this spectrum, we have lived it. Mm -hmm. So, so if you, if you feel like, well, you know, here's these, these four fit, you know, looking, you know, sort of women in, in recovery, we have lived, we have been where you are. We know what it feels like to feel totally hopeless and totally under the food and totally oh, under the food's effects. We have found a way out and are sharing it with others that does not require these extreme measures that we don't know the long-term effects of. Yeah. So, so give community a chance, give connection a chance, uh, give real food recovery a chance and, and consider, hey, could this be an, a, a way that I can find freedom without um, unknowns? Yeah, right. So. And, and the last thing we will say is, 
Jamie mentioned on long-term effects, the last thing we want is for people to suffer the mental health effects of getting on this and it not working and you having to gain that weight back again. That is the absolute worst torture and so depressing. We don't want anybody to suffer that experience. So if you want to find out more about us, you can find us at realfoodrecovery4u.com. That's the number four in the letter U and we hope to see you there. Until next time, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.